We're going to find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose, any easy seat that feels good for you. May you find your position as we are using our easy seat to help relax and wind down the mind and body here today. Tucking our tummy in at our navel. Shoulders are relaxed downward away from our ears. Our spinal cords are nice and elongated, meaning we are not sunken. Having control of our backs. With our eyes slightly gazed downward or closed, if that feels good. As we take a nice breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Taking a moment to notice how the breath feels within the body as we breathe our palms at heart center coming into a seated prayer. Our thumbs are touching the sternum, the center of our chest. As we relax, silent meditation for natural breaths. Two more breaths. As we flow our palms outward towards the side, we're going to breathe our palms above our heads and our salute palms together. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Feeling that stretch as our shoulders flows upwards towards the ears, elongating that spine. Allowing the arms to flow slightly towards the back of the room. You'll feel this in your lumbar back. This is a slight back bend. Keeping that heart chakra open and that chin up. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, separating those palms. Now we are in our seated extended mountain. Our palms are separated, extended mountain. When our palms are together, it is a salute. When our palms are separated, we are in an extended mountain. As we breathe our palms slightly outward towards the side, coming into a seated star. Now our palms are a little more lateral to the side. Keeping that heart chakra open, the chin is up, gaze down, breathing in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. We're going to hold this pose for four more breaths. And holding this pose, we are relaxing. We are actually strengthening and toning and firming our arms. Two more breaths. Breathing our palms back to our seated extended mountain. Flow into our salute, palms together above our heads. Exhale down to prayer, palms come heart center. Relaxing those shoulders downward away from our ears. Being mindful to relax the shoulders down may help with tension that we may feel in the upper parts of our bodies and in our shoulders and neck. A lot of times we hold a lot of tension there. By simply reminding ourselves and our clients to relax those shoulders downward could help relieve some tension we may feel in the upper parts of our bodies. Two more breaths. As we relax our palms downward towards the earth, connecting our palms to our yoga mat. Backs are nice and elongated, heart chakras open, chin is up, eyes are gazed down or closed. We are taking a moment to check in with our environment. Noticing what is going on right here, right now, in our present moment. Simply being aware without judgment. And during our session here today, we may hear noises and sounds. We may become distracted. However, may we only allow in what is comforting and soothing for us in our practice here today. Four more breaths. Two breaths. As we flow our feet into a bound position, coming into a diamond or a butterfly. Here in our bound position, this is a hip opener. 
We have the bottoms of our feet together. Tummies tucked, backs are nice and elongated. We can connect our hands to our feet. And just taking a moment to notice the difference between a diamond and a butterfly pose. In a butterfly pose, our feet are closer towards our bodies. This is a little deeper of a hip opener. In the diamond, our feet are further away from our bodies. It is still a hip opener, but it's not as deep. So just taking a moment to notice how each of those poses feels within the body as we are gaze forward. Breathe in. Exhale. Slightly hinging at the hips if that feels good. Noticing that when we hinge at the hips, when we lean forward, you'll feel it a little deeper in your inner thighs. So only going down as much as your body comfortably allows you to lean forward. As we allow our shoulders to melt forward, our head to relax downward towards our feet. We can even extend our arms in front of us with the palms flat on the earth if that feels good. As we relax and soothe here for four breaths. Two more breaths. Coming back up to center, flowing into that diamond or that butterfly pose. We're going to allow our heart chakra to open our chin up, allowing that head to relax between our shoulder blades. We are in that bound cow pose here. Noticing how this feels. Three breaths. Two breaths. Flow into our cat. Breathing our chin to our clavicle, tummies tucked, spinal cord flows to the back of the room. Three breaths. Flowing back to cow. Exhale, cat. Coming back to center, we're going to use our hands to bring our knees in, straightening our legs, coming into a staff pose. Legs are parallel side by side. Toes are pointing upwards towards the heavens. Backs are straight. Tummies are tight at our navel. Shoulders relax downward away from our ears. As our palms are relaxing on our laps, we are taking a moment to check in with self. Noticing how we are feeling in our present moment. As we relax and stay up pose for four breaths. Two more breaths. As we slightly hinge at the hips, coming into that half forward fold, we are in that seated half forward fold. Our backs are straight, and when we hinge at the hips in our staff pose, you may feel this behind your legs and your hamstrings. So if we ever have clients who have tight hamstrings, we can put them in a seated half forward fold. To go deeper in this stretch, we can come into a complete forward fold, allowing our hands to connect to our ankles or the bottoms of our feet. Our shoulder blades melt forward and our head melts downward towards our knees. Noticing how this full body stretch feels within the body. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Flowing up to half forward fold as we come back to our staff pose. Backs are straight, relaxing our palms at our side as we flow our arms up in the air, coming into that salute. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Breathe in, interlacing the fingers, allowing those arms to slightly flow towards the back of the room, feeling this slight back bend. This is opening up our shoulders here. Notice how this feels in the upper part of the back. Three breaths, keeping that chin up. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, breathing our palms down that heart center, coming into a prayer hands. Shoulders relax downward away from the ears. Two breaths. As we come into a wide-legged 
seated forward fold. Just bringing our legs slightly apart. We're going to connect that right hand to our right toes, feeling that stretch. Our torso relaxes over that right thigh. And we are working behind our legs here in our hamstrings. We can keep that heart chakra open and that chin up, or we can hover and lean downward over that thigh. Whichever feels best for you and your body, we're going to hang out here for six breaths, feeling a stretch. We are stretching. We are lengthening here. We can even option to breathe that left arm over the head and connect the left hands to the toes, if that feels good. Five more breaths. Three breaths. Exhaling back to center. We are back in that wide-legged. Backs are nice and long. Gated heart chakras open. Chin is up. Breathe in. Exhale. As we lean our bodies towards the left, our left hands connect to our left toes. Our torso is hovering over our left leg. Optioning to keep that heart chakra open and that chin up. Or we can allow our torso to come closer to that thigh. We are working our hamstrings on the opposite sides of our bodies. Just allowing the body to relax and soothe. Optioning to reach that right arm over the head, connecting the right fingertips to the left toes. Still in the body, lengthen and stretch here. Five more breaths. Three breaths. Exhale and back to center. Relax in the body. Breathe in. Exhale. Hinging at the hips, connecting our hands to the our knees or our ankles or our feet. And we'll feel this stretch in both hamstrings behind the legs. Only hinging forward as much as your body comfortably allows you to go. My voice is just a guide. Doing what feels best for you and your body. And as we are hinged forward, we can keep our toes pointing up towards the heavens or we can Plan to flex our toes downward towards the earth. Maybe we can do both, pointing the toes up and then pointing them downward towards the earth. Noticing how that feels in a stretch. We're also working our ankles when we're lifting the toes up and rotating them back down. We're going to hang out here for four more breaths. Two breaths. And exhaling back to center. We're going to take this right foot and breathe this right foot inside of our thigh, connecting that right foot to the left inner thigh. Just taking a moment to notice how that feels. Back to straight. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale. Two more breaths. We're going to straighten that right leg. We're going to breathe that left foot inside of that right thigh, connecting that left foot to the inner thigh. Backs are straight, heart chakras open. We're just taking a moment to check in. Ensuring we didn't overstretch our hamstrings. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, we're going to cross our feet at our ankles, and we're going to come into a tabletop pose, coming onto our hands and our knees, palms are flat on the earth, our knees are hip distance apart, we're going to drop down to our cow, that tummy comes downward towards the earth, you'll feel this in your lumbar spine, your back is sunken down in that cow pose, chin is slightly up, and this cow this cow pose is great for no back pain. So we can 
hang out here for a couple of breaths, or we can do cat cow rotations. And the cat, our chin comes to our clavicle, tummies are tucked, spinal cord flows up towards the heavens. Lower back to cow. So we can come into our cat cows and our natural breath or hanging out in our cat or our cow, whichever feels best for you. Six breaths. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Finding our pause at table. We're going to breathe our right arm up in the air. Those right fingertips flows up towards the heavens, gazing up at the right fingertips. Breathe in. Exhale, thread the needle, right arm threads through the left. Heart chakra comes downward towards the earth. Our head is relaxed on the yoga mat. Here in our thread the needle, we are connecting the heart chakra to the earth. Just taking a moment to notice how we feel in our pose. We can also option to breathe this left arm behind our backs here, feeling that twist and that stretch. Or we can extend that left arm above our heads, palms flat on the earth, and I will thread the needle. Whatever feels best for you, we are going to connect to our environment. Simply just going inward for five breaths of silence. Two more breaths. As we slowly come out of that thread, the needle coming back into our tabletop pose, we're going to drop down to cow. Exhale to cat. Coming back to our table as we breathe our left arm up in the air, fingertips flows towards the heavens. Gazing at those left fingers. Breathe in. Exhale, thread the needle. Left arm threads through the right heart chakra comes downward towards the earth. We are relaxed on our heads, on the sides of our faces. Hmm. Allowing those shoulder blades to melt forward as the heart chakra comes closer towards the earth. Eyes are gazed down. We can option to wrap the right arm around our backs. Or we can extend that right arm above our heads, palms flat on the earth, whatever feels best for you. Five breaths of silence. Two more breaths. Slowly coming out of that thread the needle, coming back to our table. We're going to drop down to cow. Exhale to cat. Coming back to our table as we breathe our right leg towards the back, feeling that stretch. We can pulse that right leg up nice and high. And when we bring it up high, you'll notice that you are squeezing that gluteus maximus, the buttocks, lifting and rounding here. We're just going to hold this pose. And maybe we can pulse that leg up and down for five breaths if that feels good. As we are gazed forward, tummies are tight. Three more breaths. We are working on rounding and lifting that buttocks. Two breaths. 
finding our cause, we're just going to relax that leg straight to the back, and we're going to extend that left arm forward. So the right leg's to the back, left arm's forward. As we are gaze forward, we are in that sunbird pose. This is a balancing pose and a strengthening pose. We're going to hang out here for four breaths. Two breaths. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale, breathing that knee into that elbow. Feeling that crunch. Back to sunbird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Flowing back to bird. Two breaths. Exhale to table. Dropping down to cow, allowing the body to relax and rest here in our cow pose. That chin is up. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Breathe in. And exhale. It's feeling the body soothe and relax. Two more breaths in our cow. Flow into our cat, bringing that chin to the clavicle. Tummies are tight. Spinal cord flows to the heavens. Flow into our table. Relax in the body. As we breathe that left leg towards the back, feeling that stretch. And we can pulse or breathe that left leg up nice and high, working that gluteus maximus on the other side. We are rounding and lifting that buttocks. The buttocks is one of the biggest muscles of the body. And we can definitely round and lift that muscle with practice, with strengthening. So we're going to pulse it up for four more breaths. Just feel it a burn. Two more breaths. <sighs> Relaxing the legs straight to the back. We are gaze forward. Holding this for a couple more breaths as we breathe this right arm forward. So now we have that left leg to the back, right arm forward. As we are gaze forward with the tummy tight, building strength as we are balancing. Four breaths. Two breaths. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale, breathing that knee to that elbow. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. No one back to bird. And I didn't mention this earlier, but if we ever feel dizzy with our leg to the back, we always can lower those toes downward towards the earth. See that there? So leg straight to the back or for balance, we can lower the toes downward. As we come to our table, we're going to drop down to cow. Chin is up. Flow into our cat. Come into our table. As we allow our buttocks to come to the heels of our feet, coming into a child's pose. Just breathing the buttocks downward. Chest relaxes between the thighs. Feeling that heart chakra come closer to the earth. Our arms are extended in front of us in an extended child's pose with those palms flat on the earth. Our forehead, our third eye chakra is connected to the yoga mat. Feeling those shoulder blades melt forward, allowing the eyes to close or gaze down. As we relax here, silent meditation, six natural breaths.
optioning to breathe our palms together, flowing into a prayer hands, child's pose, if that feels good. Four more breaths. If we're in a prayer hands, we're going to breathe our palms back in front of us and that extended child's pose, palms flat on the earth. As we slide and wave our bodies out of our child's pose, using our palms to wave our bodies forward and using our palms to push our buttocks back towards our heels. We are spine waving it, using this pose to relax and soothe and work our Entire spinal cord just feeling the flow here. We can option to rotate our neck into the mix, allowing us entire spinal cord to circulate and flow here. Four more breaths. Mm. Two breaths. Mm. Finding our pause at center, coming back to our table. We're going to drop down to cow. Exhale, cat. Coming back to our table as we push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at the feet. Walking our dog by pedal on our feet, left and right. We're going to find our pause. We're going to shift that weight forward, coming into a high plank. We are working the upper parts of our bodies, the shoulders, the backs. Tummies are tight. Exhale, back down dog. Walking our dog, pedal on the feet. Shifting the weight forward, coming back to that high plank. Exhaling down to low plank or chaturanga, hovering over the yoga mat. Coming onto our tummies, coming into a sphinx pose. Our forearms are connected to the earth. Our shoulders are not shrugged. They are away from the ears. Heart chakras open, chin is up. This sphinx pose here is a slight back bend. Noticing how this feels in the lumbar spine. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale through the mouth. With the eyes slightly gazed down, we're going to relax here for three breaths of silence. Two breaths. Blowing our palms next to our torso, we're going to come into a baby cobra. Elbows are bent. Chin is up. Blowing into a cobra, stretching those elbows a little. Flowing to an up dog, untucking those toes, taking those thighs off the earth. We are in that up dog. This is a deeper back bend. We are working our shoulders, our backs. Exhale into down dog, gazing at the feet. As we walk our feet to our hands, coming into a complete forward fold, feeling that full body stretch, head melts downward towards the earth. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Feeling a stretch behind your legs and the hamstrings. We're also lengthening the body. Three more breaths. Exhaling up to half forward fold, back to straight, slightly gaze forward. As we yogi walk our feet slightly apart, creating that nice stance. Just bringing those feet apart. Nice and wide, but not too wide, unless that feels good. We're going to come back down to a complete forward fold. Allowing the hands to connect to the ankles. Optioning to flow into a rag dial, connecting the hands to the elbows, feeling that stretch. 
We can even ask him to rock or sway the body from side to side. Notice that when you rock and sway from side to side, you can really feel that pull behind your legs and the hamstring. You can really feel that stretch, feel in the body and lengthen. We're going to relax in our ragdoll or our complete forward fold with six breaths. Four more breaths. Bunny pulls at center, coming into that half forward fold, backs are straight. We are gaze forward, feeling that stretch here. Hands are underneath our knees. It's taking a moment to check in with body. Two more breaths. Tummies are nice and tight. We're going to take this left hand, connect the left hand to the right ankle. We're going to wrap this right arm behind our backs, how we do in our thread the needle. And we're going to gaze over that right shoulder. Feeling this crossbody stretch and twist. We are continuing to lengthen and stretch the body here. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into center, coming into that half forward fold, back to straight, gaze forward. Hands are relaxed underneath the knees, if that feels good. Two more breaths. As we connect this right hand to the left ankle, we're going to wrap this left arm behind our backs, how we're doing our thread the needle, and we're going to gaze over that left shoulder. Feeling that cross body stretch and twist, opposite side. Allowing the body to soothe for four more breaths. Two breaths. And tell them back to center. Half forward fold. As we walk our hands forward, breathing our feet together, coming back to that down dog, gazed at the feet. Walking our dog, pedaling our feet left and right. We're going to find our pause. We're going to breathe our right foot forward. Coming into that runner's lunge. As we lower the left knee downward towards the earth, coming into that low lunge. Just feeling that stretch. This low lunge prepares the body for split. And if we choose, we can push our torso away from that thigh. And we can breathe our arms above our heads in the air. Connecting our hands together, heart chakras open, chin is up, allowing the arms to slightly flow towards the back. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, framing that front foot, taking that left knee off the earth, back in that runner's lunge. Exhale, down dog, bringing that foot to the back. Gazing at the feet. Walking our dog by pedal on our feet, left and right. Finding our pause as we breathe that left foot forward. Coming into that runner's lunge. Opposite side, feeling that stretch. Dropping that right knee down towards the earth. We are now in that low lunge, which prepares the body for split. Feeling that in the thighs. We can ask you to push our torso away from our thighs and breathe our arms up in the air, connecting our fingers, heart chakras open, chin is up, allowing our arms to flow slightly towards the back. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, framing that front foot, taking that right knee off the air, back and run this lunge. Exhale, down dog, gazing at the feet. Mm. 
flow into our dolphin pose. We're going to come onto our forearms. Our buttocks is high in the air, and we are gazed at the back of the room. Dolphin pose prepares the mind and body for headstand. You need to pulse up and down on your tippy toes if you choose for more breaths. Dropping down to our knees, we're going to come into a puppy pose. In our puppy pose, our buttocks is high in the air. Torso comes down towards the earth. Arms are extended in front of us with the palms flat on the earth. We are in that extended puppy's pose. <sighs> Shoulder blades melt forward into the earth. Eyes are gazed down with a close. With that, bring that chakra forehead connected to the earth. Taking a moment to notice how the puppy pose feels and looks very similar to a child's pose. However, it's not exactly identical. May we relax and soothe here in our puppy pose for six natural breaths. Optioning to breathe our palms together, flowing into a prayer hands, if that feels good. Three more breaths. Extending our arms back in front of us in that extended puppy, palms flat on the earth. As we use our palms to wave our bodies forward, we're going to do a couple of spinal waves coming out of that puppy pose. Spinal wave in the body, feeling that flow in the spinal cord, optioning to flow the neck into the mix, allowing that entire spinal cord to relax and soothe here for three more breaths. Finally, I pause that center, coming to that table. Knees are hip distance, palms are flat as we drop down to cow, chin is up. Low into our cat. Coming back to table, crossing our feet at our ankles. We're gonna come onto our buttocks. Just for a second, we're gonna flow onto our backs. Coming into a recline position, knees, hugs into chest, knees to chest pose. Allowing the body to relax and soothe here and our knees to chest, just hugging them in. Allowing the shoulder blades to melt back and to the yoga mat. Gazing the eyes downward or closing the eyes. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Two more breaths. As we extend the legs up in the air, legs on the wall pose, with the toes pointing up towards the heavens, feeling that stretch. Reaching our hands downward towards our legs, the bottoms of our legs. We're going to breathe our legs towards our torso, allowing that buttocks to slightly come off the earth. Feeling that legs to torso stretch here. And exhale the legs back up on the wall. As we come into a reclined wide legged pose here, allowing those legs to extend outward towards the sides, feeling that stretch in the inner thighs. Actually, to connect the hands. To the toes, if that feels good. Four breaths. Two breaths.
Bringing those knees, those legs, legs back together, coming to legs on the wall. As we bend our knees into our chest, hugging them in. We're going to flow into a happy baby. Facing those feet up in the air, bringing the hands, the arms between the thighs, bringing them out towards the side and connecting them to the feet. We are in that happy baby. Our spinal cords are connected to the earth. Maybe we can rock from side to side here. And our happy baby, using the earth to relax and soothe and massage our spinal cord. This is just an option. Or we can simply stay still in our happy baby. Or breathe our legs over our shoulders in the shoulder press pose. Whatever you feel up to in this moment, we're going to freestyle happy baby for six breaths. Three more breaths. Exhaling out, breathing those legs up in the air, legs on the wall, pointing those toes upwards towards the heavens. Reaching the hands down to the ankles as we breathe those legs towards the torso, legs to torso stretch. Exhale back up to legs on the wall. As we breathe our knees into our chest, recline knees to chest pose. As we allow our knees to flow towards the left, recline spinal twist. Knees flow to the left, feel the next spinal cord twist through the decompress. That right arm comes out to the side like a lowercase t. Allowing those shoulders to melt into the yoga mat. Eyes are gazed downward or closed. As we relax and soothe here, silent meditation, six natural breaths. Optioning to extend that leg that's on the top out towards the side if that feels good here in every cross spinal twist. We are gazed up at the heavens. We are gazed up at the heavens or gaze over our left shoulder. Three more breaths. Exhaling back to center, hugging those knees into the chest. Breathe in. Exhale. Allowing those knees to flow towards the right. Recline spinal twist opposite side. Knees flows to the right. Left arm goes out to the side like a lowercase t. We are gazed up at the heavens or we are gazed over that left shoulder. Our shoulder blades are melted back to the yoga mat. Our eyes are slightly gazed downward or closed. We can option to extend that leg that's on the top out towards the side, connecting it to the toe if that feels good. Extended hand to toe. As we relax and soothe here and our decline spinal twist. Six natural breaths of silence. Three more breaths.
Exhale and back to center. Hugging those knees and to the chest. <sighs> Keeping those knees up in the air. We're going to place our feet flat on the earth. Knees in the air. Feet are flat on the earth. We're going to relax our palms next to our buttocks flat on the earth. We're going to work on a bridge pose. Using our palms and our feet to lift our pelvic bone, our gluteus maximus, off the earth. And you'll feel that gluteus maximus get nice and tight here. Feeling that lift. Lifting it up. Squeeze it nice and tight. We are in that bridge pose. Rounding and lifting that gluteus maximus. You also feel it in your thighs as well as your lower back. To go deeper in this bridge, we can connect our hands underneath our buttocks, interlacing our fingers as we walk out with shoulder blades towards our spine. Noticing that your chest, your heart chakra pumps higher in the air. Now we are in our deep bridge. Optioning to pulse the body up and down, squeezing that gluteus maximus if that feels good for you. And we're going to freestyle in our bridge, doing whatever feels best for us for eight natural breaths. Four more breaths. Squeezing it up nice and tight, feeling that burn. Squeeze, squeeze. Rounding and lifting that gluteus maximus. <sighs> Getting our bodies. And our buttocks ready for the summer months. Squeezing it up nice and tight. Squeeze, squeeze. Still in the burn. We're going to do a bonus. Four more breaths. Squeeze, squeeze. Pulse it down. And pulse it back up. Squeezing it nice and tight. Still in that burn. Squeeze, squeeze. Almost there. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale down. Uninterlacing those fingers. Breathing those knees into the chest, hugging them in. This is a counter stretch, allowing the gluteus maximus to relax. Extending those legs up in the air, connecting the hands to the feet. Coming to legs on the wall, pointing the toes up towards the heavens. Breathing the knees into the chest. Straightening those legs side by side, coming into a Shavasana. Legs are parallel. Shoulder blades are melted back into the earth. Eyes are closed to gaze down. Breathe in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Feeling those feet relaxed to the side. Feel in the body and the mind, take a load off. Here in Ashavasana, maybe use this time to just be in our present moment, simply just being. Seven breaths of silence. Three more breaths. We're going to roll on outside, coming into a fetal pose, relaxing and soothing here for five more breaths of silence.
wiggling our toes at our ankles. Wiggling our toes, rotating our feet at our ankles. Moving our buttocks at our hips, awakening the body. As we come up to a seated pose, coming into any, any easy seat of choice, I'm going to come into a cow face legs. Backs are straight. Tummies are nice and tight. Shoulders relax downward away from the ears. Taking a nice breath in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Noticing how the breath relaxes and soothes. Our chin is relaxed. Our facial muscles are relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer. Gaze in the eyes downward, close in the eyes. Breathe in, exhale. As we use this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today and our teaching training flow. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time for self. Now, I would like to thank you so much for allowing me to practice teaching training with you here today, for it truly, truly is a blessing. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the heights that we all. Namaste. Namaste.